I-C-E means to increase customer experience. I-C-E is a trend that came out in 2023 after, of course, the pandemic had hit and all of a sudden we are now back to the reality that the customer is always right. Greetings and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 56, where we're talking about increasing the customer's experience and what that means in your business as a brand. My name is Dr. Darina Shine, and I am so grateful that you're here with me today. And welcome to the podcast. This is a pre recorded podcast, and I just wanted to tap into some form of new development in business so that we stay very trendy, we stay affluent when it comes to thinking about business, even as a leader in our own lives, doing our basic everyday fundamental living. So what is an immersive customer experience? When we increase customer experience, they're more likely by almost 86.7% more likely to come back to us. And so we're wearing our brands on our shoulder now as shining entrepreneurs in 2023, moving into 2024. So these businesses and industries go global, national, international, and it and virtual in all those areas. So it is vitally important to increase the customer's experience so that uh, we are in the top areas of business. So when we look at the workplace, when we look at how we treat our customers, that experience is what's going to overall share the word of mouth. Because if you think about it, the majority of people in business today are moving due to word of mouth. It's not advertisement. They're not moving because they have the most eloquent sponsors to sponsor their commercial or they're spending, you know, advertisement costs on thousand dollar commercials or billboards. No, it is physically the word of mouth. And as we look at our client base, we have to say to ourselves, even as, you know, looking at our friends in a relationship, a personal relationship with us, rearing our children. There are certain people we're not going to involve in our personal everyday life. Yet there are people that will come into our establishment to build a reputation for us. So they're very supportive. So I ran into a Wonderful young lady. She used to be my neighbor and uh, they moved, but she wanted to look at doing something specific for, you know, our location. And when I ran into her, I couldn't believe it was her. It was so phenomenally a great, it it felt like a, a reunion. And when I embraced the concept of the culture, because we are maybe a decade, you know, age difference. And to embrace that and to empower her and to see the excitement in her eyes, to see that it's her time to shine. And it's time for us to put our people in position to do just that. So giving opportunities to be creative is helping my niche as a business consultant because it is increasing the customer experience with me, increasing the client experience. And she's going to be more likely to come back. And it was amazing how I didn't even know she was here. And all of a sudden, someone came in to the community center for one thing. And I asked them, could they spread the word? 
See the word of mouth. Spread the word to get the information out that we provide event space. And that's how we were able to connect. So being put in a digital transformative accelerated world is helping us to get information out faster at greater speeds with greater amounts of individuals that we can tap into at one sitting. TikTok, Instagram, you know, all the digital platforms, Spotify, you know, this is the culture. This is where it's all going. So immersing and embracing and empowering the consumer to be creative is only going to increase the initiative that success is the ultimate key. Because when you connect to the right people, not just the people that come in, want to know what's going on, to do whatever they want to do, but the right people, those people are going to have you shining on a continual basis. And if you treat them right, the increase in customer experience is going to make you the leader in innovation of whatever your brand is. You know, researching the industry. We have to make sure that we're doing exactly what our competitors are doing, if not a hundred times more. You got to be so creative. You got to be so motivated. You got to be so disciplined. You have to be so initiative driven that you create your own span of organization. And that's the thing that's going to set you apart. And then determining how the change is going to affect how changes in the future are going to affect you in the future, so you're already prepared for it, staying steps ahead of the game, constantly being in the know, constantly working on your brand. You know, it's amazing when you can sit back and you can say, I'm not out there looking at my competitors. I'm not out there wondering what's going on or busybodying other people's organizations. I'm so busy focused on my own organization and those who empower me and inspire me to know that what advice I give is the best consultative advice that is available because it holds that tinge of support and it holds 100% validation of truth. And in those two primary areas, you're going to find success. Guaranteed. Evaluate and congratulate. 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 <laughs> Congratulate those who are showing up and showing you that they have the inspiration to continue to do what is needed. And the data is going to prove itself. The data is going to help you to create a better future of business that is going to sustain the world as we know it. And uh, the best way to do it is to bring along these evaluations that's going to help empower customer experience. So when we go through these challenges, when we face what to do next in our business or in our personal lives as leaders of our own Life. We get up every morning, we make the decision what we're going to eat for breakfast, we make the decision what we're going to eat for lunch, we make the decision um, when we're going to set the alarm to get up, to take a shower, get our coffee, which way we're going to go to work, which way we're going to go to school, are we catching the bus, are we driving, are we paying our insurance in order to drive our vehicle to make sure that the fellow man is, you know, in the same position as we are, as we're driving and being responsible? You know, are we making that decision to go to the bar at seven o'clock at night after work and drinking and driving? Are we choosing to, you know, go to counseling or go to AA meetings in order to prevent us 
from buying into our addictive tendencies. What are we doing right now? Because this is the time where it gets darker earlier. People are, you know, in that cozy perspective. And if we are making the right decisions at this time in our lives, no matter what we're doing, whether we're alone or with a significant other, married or with children, with grandchildren, whatever we're doing in this life, it's all about being responsible and maintaining that responsibility in every aspect of what it is we do. And I continue to tell myself personally this perspective every day. Health and wellness is the key to life. In order to make life more abundant for us, we have to do the next right thing. And there are addictions that are legal. Addictions such as, you know, eating the wrong food, sodium, if we are high blood pressure individuals or you know, sugar, if we're diabetic or, you know, if we're, you know, um, I don't know, some, some people aren't even allowed to have grapefruit, you know? So even some of the more healthier things are still avoidable, must be avoided because of our chemistry and our makeup. So when we look at the responsibilities of what we need to do, we have to look at it from a health health perspective as well. So people crave experience. They love to hear the story. They love to see how you made it through. They love, you know, I meet so many wonderful people that want to know, you know, how I did the branding of the Scales to Success LLC project. I haven't heard that in a very long time. And I was asked to do an interview person, you know, a business professional interview. And I definitely accept it. So I'm excited to know what 2024 is going to bring for us, how we're going to be able to maneuver through this journey and still stand tall, knowing that we're not alone when it comes to the concepts of business and developing our craft and our brand and you know, everything that we are a part of, the strategies and the trends that garter what we're going to predict for ourselves is mandatory as well, because manifestation is everything. It's everything, entrepreneurs. And I, I, I just wanted to get on tonight to tell you to continue to hold on, to continue to have faith, to continue to keep grinding, going to the board and writing down your, your concepts, your theories, your mission, your purpose, your finances, you know, manifest those things into existence. What are the goals? If we're talking million dollar goals, then we need to be doing million dollar practices. We need to be practicing on million dollar status level. If we don't, what will happen is it will only be a bunch of talk and a dream that we're going to look around the world and we're going to see it occur in someone else's life and then blame the fact that that could have been you. That could have been, you know, that was a dream that I wanted, but I didn't pursue it. No. Why should you be limited You know, I was listening to a podcast with Dr. Uh, Oh, I forget her name. Oh, Ramadi. And she was talking about the narcissist and how the gaslighting perspective to the narcissist relate to people and how the only thing that the victim of a narcissist can actually do is not engage with them. We can't tell this individual that you made me feel bad because they don't care about our feelings. But to be in a relationship that uh, strategic, to just constantly be the punching bag mentally, verbally, spiritually, emotionally, to someone who has no concept of emotion, it's devastating. It's simply devastating. 
And so what I learned from that is there are going to be times in this life that we're going to be projected upon. And it's not going to be the truth because the projection is them themselves looking at themselves in the mirror and you are the mirror. You are the mirror. So, you know, empowering someone without taking away the objective of your goal is what it is. But when people don't want you to excel, they're going to throw the gaslighting fires in your way to distract, to dist- to prevent. And these are the things that we don't really want. We don't want those things to take place. We want to be able to non-engage, but still get the goal accomplished and not forget when we're in those controlling relationships, what be it with our supervisors, be it with our administration, be it with, you know, those who are higher up than us, be it those staff members that's trying to staff and stab someone in the back because they need the position or want the position and they don't feel that they can get it any other way. These are the remnants to what I am speaking that tells you to constantly empower yourself, constantly tell yourself, like um, Dr. Ramadan said today, you know, continue to move in a direction where you're like saying to yourself, yeah, I am a success. Even though I may have this situation or this stumbling block or this hurdle or this whatever I have, I am successful and I'm going to continue to keep doing what I need to do in order to empower myself to be more so that I can strategically make this successful. And as shining entrepreneurs, that's what should be done. You don't have to be the basic. And you don't have to be the brightest star in the night either if that's not what you choose to do. But whatever it is you choose to do, I so empower you to dare to make the choice to set the goal, set the, set the stage for your life because that is the thing that's going to set the bar for you to say, okay, I've succeeded. If I've only done 10 push-ups, I've succeeded today. And it may hurt today, but those 10 push-ups a month from now, after doing 20, 20 a day, is going to be nothing because you've grown outside of your comfort zone. And these are things that I really, really need to have you focused on. When you're working on your journals, make sure that you're tapping into some of the things, the seeds that are being planted here at Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 56, on September the 28th, 2023. I bring these dates up and I bring these episodes up because in your journal, what I want you to do is a month from now, go back. And when you go back, you write the date, okay? And when you write the date, you pay attention to what you told yourself in the journal after you've reviewed our chronicles. And then you look at your high and low that you're going through and experiencing on your own that particular day and see your mood. Pay attention to how stressful it is for you. What level of of stress are you finding in this situation. And then a month from now, go back to that date. And if you have to come back to the episode, re-listen and see, and I guarantee you, time is of the essence. And as you grow into the knowledge of yourself and your healing and your promotion and your goal setting, you are going to find that it is nowhere near as difficult as it was a month ago. So these are things that I put out, and this is how I maneuver through my own personal journeys. So I thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. I'm going to try to upload these videos each day around 1 p.m. 1 p.m. is that area. I mean, I 
thought early morning, 6.30, 7 o'clock would be good. But when I do my podcast, by the time I upload, I have to give it over to my um, committee and they have to look through the concepts to put the title and all of that. So basically what takes place is it will be uploaded and scheduled to load at 1 p.m. every day. So that is our true Chronicles of a Nonprofit episode time that you can expect to have a daily chronicle, okay? With that, be consistent, be on time, be your best authentic self, and know that these chronicles, these highs and lows are only here temporarily. You'll eventually get to that balance in your life. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow.